but on the reference, the bevel's really tight. So I don't think we're gonna be able to notice. And then press nine to quit. And then do an NA. There we go. So now let me just do NB. Let's make this other area, grab ourselves a cube. Over here. Let's bring it down a little bit. Give it some filet, just a little bit. See, make it editable, grab the points, rectangle, select. Looks like it's about here on the speaker. Since we have our points, we can just align it. Ooh, let's do nine edge UL. Let me do this. I'll go to my loop path cut. And I'll make these. Adjustments here. And then I'll do another one here. And then I'll add another one right here. Then one thing I can do is I can, I can move this, let's say, over here. And I can just say, 93 or something and then this one over here 93 whoa where to go oh no it'd be seven that's what it'd be so this one i make it seven because 93 minus seven, I mean, um, under minus 93, seven. So now they're even. All right, so nine, the middle one's not important, but I put it there, I can delete it. So UL, click it, all right, click, dissolve, go to my faces, Right click. I can't tell if it's being, maybe let's extrude it inward. So let's push it in a little bit. Okay, um, let's do another, well, let's press nine to quit. Right click. Loop path cut. Cut out this little tape area. Over here, right here. Here, here. I'll just make all the cuts I need for everything here. So I'm cut here, here. I can also look at it in this view. 
And sometimes we can also use these grid lines to just help us measure out. All right, I think that's all the cuts that I need for this. Nine to quit. This right here, right click, extrude. Well, let me do extrude, enter. I'll just do nine, do UL. And get this one right here, all right? And E, push it in. And this is like super fine details right here, kind of. But I'll take these two right here, right click, extrude, enter. So grab all these and I'll just push them in a little bit. Like as always, if they're not like aligned correctly, just grab these and let's do it like this one isn't as large as this one. So just make it a little bit thinner. Cool. Now let's make some knobs. So just get a cylinder. Change orientation. Ooh, had that wrong. You can do like a 32. These look like they have a little bevel. So put C, edges. UL, click right here, right click, bevel. This bevel looks a little different, right? Looks like that on the reference. So nine to quit, do another UL on this one, click on this one, right click, and this will be our nice tight bevel. Nine. Faces. Rectangle. Select all these. Delete. Let's place this. It needs to be T to scale. If it's gonna be far away, some of these details you won't see. I guess I'm just going through the whole thing. Like if we're all the way over here, you might not be able to see those little extrusions, all the other stuff right there. Let's take this. Shiny knob, you can see that. This in right here. Control click. Control click. Control click. Take it again. Control click up here. T to scale. Oh, scale, scale it down. So we have three little ones. So E, control click, control click. Take all three of these. So we scale down a little bit more. Looks like there's one extra one. Control click. And it looks like there's two more over here. Control click. It also looks like there's a red dot, so I'll take this, control click. 
Move this way. The dot, take all these knobs, Alt G. Yep. Cool, almost at the finish line. We'll just take this cube now, bring it up here. Once again, I could have copied that shape before I did all those extrusions. Let's go ahead and do this. Take a little bit tighter fillet. Let's push it till it hits this side over here. to make it editable, grab the points, rectangle. And align it to this one. Once again, I could have done everything on the grid lines to make it extra even. Or copied it, but. Sometimes you start to model and then you'll see things that you should have done later. And then you do them later. All right, so let me get this right here, loop path cut. Like I said, for something so far away, probably won't see a lot of these details, but it's showing you how it's done. And now I'll do another cut right here. Get this, press nine to quit ul on these edges t to scale to make them even another ul ul i mean uh, i'm sorry not ul i meant uh loop path cut this going like this Actually, I need that. I'm just going to BS this nest last part. So I'll just get myself a cube. This will be this little knob button. Give it some filet. Let's give it a bigger filet. Nine to quit. See to make it edible. Faces. Rectangle selection, select all these, delete it over here now. Let the pivot thing turn on, turn on the L. We'll just place it over here, scale it down, and now we done. Most things you can make how I'm making right here, just kind of like making a shape and placing it. It just depends on this, you know, the uh, the camera and how close you're going to be. I usually don't like scale like this because it messes up the bevel, as you can see. Quick, it's like another red dot.
Not that. I want to make some cylinders for this other area. Take this out and go to X orientation. Yeah, and these are going to be small, so. Take a scale, scale it down. What I can also do is I can take away some of these segments. And let me give it a fillet. So we don't have to make our own. Yeah, this looks like about it. We just need to scale it. Place it. Right here, cool. Looks like there's five of them. One, two. Select two of these, control click. And for whatever reason, they have a little bar sticking out. Oh, you know what? I won't even make a new cube. You know what I'll do? I'll take this, control click, bring it over here. Make life easier. Points. Uh, point. Okay, so let's just build up this record area real quick. Nine. You select this shape. Extrude enter, click. Let's drag this down. And also I'll go over here and I'll do um, split. So I'll make some extra faces. And then for this, I'll do a new path cut. Let's make one right here, from here. Nine, I'll get this edge. This edge, if this edge. Control click and drag it down. And then for this, I'll do a subdivision. I think it'll look, should look okay. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I want it. And then I'll press T to scale. So now we have this, L. Actually, let me do this. I've got this face. So a situation like this, I'll just do a right click, loop path cut. Nah, actually, I'll go like this. I'll make an extrusion. Mm. 
Yeah, it's all right. I guess either way you like. Let's make ourselves a record. Cylinder. Okay. Radius, drag it out. None of this stuff. Let me click on this again. So we can get that, scale it down. 32. L, let's move this pivot over here. Let's move this right here. And this can be like shortened. Cool. Now we have our speaker right here. We get all this stuff. I just want to see everything that's in this group right here. So it's just these two. Alt right. oh, G. Speaker set. Oh. And we just need to copy this. So I'll go to Where is it at? It should be like a mirror. Hmm. Easiest thing. Duplicate. No, that's not it. No, it's something simple. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with this video and try to find it, but uh, <laughs> I know the duplicates in there somewhere. Like I said, it's probably the easiest tool on here to find, but I'm just not sure exactly right now. Um, I'll figure that out in a moment. Yeah, that's how you make uh, your speaker set. And like I said before, is if this is too Hi, or whatever we can just go in and get these rectangles. I mean, I get the rectangle tool and move it down a bit. And we just have to get this and place in its area. Yeah, it's a bit more true to the reference. So like this, get the points, rectangle.
Oh, and then we just take this and duplicate. Like I said, I'll figure out that uh, the mirror tool. Now, if the camera's far away, we're not going to see all these details, but. So close, then we will. And then you can just. The material on it. It's just me going the extra mile right here. Let's do physical. Aim and inclusion. And then global. Oh, I don't have any lights in the scene, but yeah, that's pretty much it.